Hello, this is Mike Lyler from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the third part of a four-part series on creating Quake 2 models, or MD2 models, for Paper Vision 3D. And in this part, we're actually going to work with Milkshape. In part one and two, one, you created your model, two, you textured it and exported it in a 3DS Max format that could be imported into Milkshake, and now we're going to take a look at it. Let's go to the Milkshake site. It's at chumbalum.swissquake.ch. Let's go there right now. We're actually on the Milkshape site, and I wanted to go over here to the corner and show you can actually click here to download Milkshape. And the other one actually is a model viewer. Let's go down just a little bit lower so you can look at that. It's an MD2 model viewer. Now, you don't need this because in our chapter coming up here on Adobe Air, we're going to actually be creating Adobe Air application where you can actually view these models uh, and interact with your hard drive and operating system and other file systems. So Air does that for you, and we'll be doing that. But And we're going to show you how to load it into the model that we created in the previous post. But for now, if you want to use that, go, ahead, go for it. But we're mainly interested in downloading Milkshake. And we click on that. And like I said, promised you, Milkshake uh, is a pretty much incredible piece of software. It's a low polygon modeler, uh, originally created for Half-Life, and it now has had about 70 different file formats that it'll work with. And it does basic modeling, you know, uh, but basically we're interested in using it to pretty much uh, wash or exchange these one file ma format into another. Neat thing I want to tell you is using Milkshake, we're not limited to just quick two models. It opens up a whole realm of models that we can bring into Paper Vision and use. And so uh, it's one of it's part of our arsenal. I, it used to be free. Now there's a, a small purchase, a license you need to buy, but it's not very expensive. So I'll leave that to you. Let's go back and use it to uh, create our MD2 model from our 3ds Max uh, export that we created last time. So I'm in Milkshape. It's a very simple uh, interface. I'll just look at it. We'll look at it real quick. It has four panels here. A perspective panel we'll be looking at. Select, rotate, move, scale, vertex, sphere, geo, cylinder, box, plane, some of those basic primitives, extrude and joint. We're going to be using those today. But basically you just want to file and import that Quake model, or excuse me, that Quake house that we created in 3ds Max. So we're going to do an import and we're going to go down here to Auto 3DS. You can't see that so I'm actually going to bring this down a little bit so you can actually see it. Just be patient with me here. I want to make sure we get it all. So go File, Import, right, and go down here to Auto 3DS. So let's click on that. And when you do have an option to bring in uh, different models, the model that we made last time was QuakeHouse.3DS. So let's click on that, open that up, and there's your house. Well, Ta-da! All right. Okay, now there's a number of steps here. There's nine of them, actually, and we're going to go through them step by step it's actually fairly easy what you want to make sure you have model click and you click joint and we want to put a joint or a pivot point in there so we can click on that model uh, let's just put it on the side here click and there it is at that point what you want to do is click on joints and click on assign now the problem is I don't have everything selected so let's try that again hit your control click here uh, control A to uh, select everything now you're ready click on joints and click on assign now we're happy. So now that that's done, all you have to do is export it. So we're going to go File, Export as, guess what, at the top, Quake 2 MB2. And we're going to give it a name, uh, the Quake House. All right. Hit Save. So you're going to get this warning, no mb2.qc found. And what that means is if you're actually exporting this for Quake itself, you need this uh, mb2.qc file. But we're not exporting it for Quake. You can just ignore that, and you're done. And that's all there is to it. You are now ready to bring this into your viewer. Before we move away from this section, I want to scroll down here in Milkshape and just show you there's you can actually animate in Milkshape, which is just wonderful. Uh, we used to use this for particle explosions. We could animate our, our uh, basically our polygons falling apart. If you click on this for your quick model, you want to make sure that you only have the first sl frame selected because we didn't have any animation in this particular uh, model. So essentially, it's a one frame animation because there's no animation at all. And so I just want to point that out and you, you can get off that again and you can see when it's highlighted or not highlighted it grays out. So that's pretty much, I mean Milkshake's fantastic, it's simple, it's easy to use, and it's inexpensive. So 
Add it to your arsenal, and thanks a lot for listening. This is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University. Let's move on and bring this into our viewer.